Hello everybody, Flamin' Shark back with another video and today we're here to react to 5 centimeters per second. I know this is a Makoto Shinkai film, um, wrecked to a couple of them, more recent ones, Weathering With You, which I thought was really good, and Your Name, which is just my favorite uh, Makoto Shinkai work, and one of my favorite movies ever. In fact, on that note, right on cue... Um, yeah, these two films, um, both quite, both, uh, very fun reactions, uh, for sure, especially your name, but I do really, did really enjoy Weathering With You. Just based on those films alone, I have a pretty good idea of what to expect from this film. It's pretty clear the type of, uh, things that Mokoro Shinkai adapts or, uh, I don't know, adapts or original, whatever. I, it probably varies depending on the film, but... Most of his works tend to be, you know, these romantic films with a very specific themes, like thematically, uh, the whole love conquers all, and, and, and the way that love is portrayed has been consistent in his films, so I imagine more of the same from this. I believe this was one of his first films, it might have actually even been the film that originally made him famous. And apparently it's only an hour, just over an hour. So I'm very curious to see what this is about because it's a rather short film. I think this might actually be the shortest film I've ever reacted to on the channel, at least as far as a, a reaction a anime poll winning film goes. I know The Nightmare Before Christmas is quite a short film as well, but I even feel like that one was like an hour 10 or an hour 15. <coughs> I was very surprised to see the run length, which I just found out a couple minutes ago when I uh, pulled up the file. Um, yeah, that's going to be interesting. This video will probably, all things considered, only be anywhere from about an hour and ten to an hour and a half, depending on how long the credits are and how much I have to discuss. But, you know, we're talking an absolute max of an hour and a half, probably a lot less than that. Since I usually do most of my discussion of the films, the after thoughts while the credits are rolling just to, con to, to keep the video from getting unnecessarily long. But um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to this. Um, got a little bit of allergies going on. I've been trying to maintain them as best as I can, but they've been starting to hit pretty bad lately. So uh, hopefully that doesn't interfere too much, but do note that that is uh, definitely if, if I sound a little weird or, you know, like I said, rubbing my nose like I shouldn't. But um yeah, very, very potato stuff. I'm really excited for this film, though. Um, you know, I have a, a pretty high impression of Makoto Shinkai as a director. I think the way that he um, visually, like the cinematography in his direction is always fantastic. Uh, and there's certain things about his films that are really cool. So I'm curious to see what this movie's about. But I'm expecting a romantic film, um, a love, um, a love that for one reason or another is not meant to be. Um, because that is, like, always the theme, at least from what I've seen in Makoto Shinkai films. So I'm kind of expecting more of the same, but I'm a sucker for that. I like that type of shit, so I'll probably enjoy the movie if that is what they go with. But I'm curious to see why it's called 5 centimeters per second. That's a really cool title, but it's a specific title, so it's definitely a reference a direct reference to something in the film. Of course, Weathering With You obviously was kind of a pun, whereas Your Name was a direct reference to, like, one of the big things in the film. Anyways, though, let's just jump in. It's time for five centimeters per second. We're only going to need one cut because this is a shorter movie, so let's just jump right in in three, two, one, and play. Oh my god. That last like two minutes, that that music sequence made the whole movie. That music sequence brought it all together in such a beautiful way. It's weird because I was gonna say, like, this was pretty good, but I wasn't really super impressed. Like, like there were a lot of good things about it, and I thought narratively the stories were sweet, but it just that last, like, 
a few minutes and that musical sequence with all the, those great transitions that told the story without any words beyond the singer's words, I thought was the best part of the movie and really elevated it. Like, I feel like that, that final couple minutes elevated the movie a good, decent bit there at the end. That really brought it together. So we have a pretty short credit sequence. Um, with a very basic piano medley. But uh, yeah, I am just going to talk a little bit about the movie here. I don't really have, but I, I'm probably going to leave most of my thoughts for once the credit sequence actually ends, because we do have a pretty short credit sequence in this film. Even for an anime film, this is a rather short credit sequence, even though we did have the little, the little mini credits for each individual story. But that was five centimeters per second. A very, very interesting film. Um, it was broken into, again, it was a, for lack of a better term, a collection of short stories or a collection of episodes, so to speak. We had three stories, three episodes that told a interesting collective tale that I thought was quite pretty, quite beautiful for sure. And definitely, and definitely, um, was an interesting uh, was an interesting collection uh, of narrative uh, sauce, and I thought visually the the film was quite interesting too. It wasn't the most beautiful film I've ever seen, but there were certainly a lot of artistic uh, choices and directive choices that were really cool for sure. There was a lot of stuff in this film that I thought did look really good, but I, this definitely was far from. A Your Name, for example, just to just to keep on the Makoto Shinkai. Obviously, you can tell this movie had a a tiny fraction of the budget as that uh, falls five centimeters per second. But uh, yes, it was a chain of short stories about their distance, uh, and that will do it. We have nothing else there, so that is the end. Of five centimeters per second. What an interesting story that film told. A very beautiful story, a very, um, a very compelling story, in my opinion. I thought that story was really beautiful. I thought that story did a lot of things really well, and I thought that it really was a good story. Was this a great story? Maybe if someone said this was like a great nine out of 10 film, I wouldn't be offended. I I'm not quite there. Um, again, I think personally, I think, and again, to be fair, the other works of Shinkai's that I've seen were huge, big budget productions. This is pretty obviously nowhere near that level. Um, and again, I could be wrong, but I want to say this movie came out in the late 2000s. Um, but it was, a uh, definitely way before, uh, you know, the other, uh, many of his other famous works. And obviously one of the, again, so with Makoto Shinkai, I think his storytelling in his films is quite good, but one of the biggest selling points for me when I look at a film like Weathering With You or Your Name is visually, it's just absolutely beautiful. I think the, the 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 score and the songs that they use the composition is so well done like the technical aspects of like your name are borderline unopposed uh by any anime film i've ever watched animation is fantastic as well a weathering with you is right up there with it as well on that front now from a narrative standpoint i'm a little more into your name than weathering with you i still love weathering with you as well um this film was that similar type of story that you get in these type of films. Um, and while I thought artistically it was more, it maybe was arguably more interesting than A Weathering With You or Your Name, it was nowhere near as technically brilliant. Again, more creative, I feel like, though. So so on that front, I, I did enjoy the creativity. It felt a little different than a lot of these other films that I've watched from a visual standpoint. And I feel like... They did cool things visually in this movie um, beyond just really cool um, 
shots and stuff. I thought the actual the actual visuals themselves were quite unique and interesting in certain shots, so certain parts of the film. So I did really like that, but obviously this was a um, clearly a much smaller production than some of those other films. And I think the story was good, um, but not one of my favorite anime films by any stretch. I did enjoy it quite a bit, but this wasn't one of those films that just blew me away. I thought it was good, but not, it wasn't, it didn't, it, even though I felt it and I felt, you know, you know, I felt the story for sure. And it was, you know, obviously very sad. It didn't necessarily have the emotional resonance that I think it was supposed to have like that that feel, felt like the type of movie that was supposed to make me cry or get close and even though I felt their plight um I certainly wouldn't necessarily say that I went that far with it where it really touched me on that level which I think is perfectly fine you know a film like this doesn't have to hit on that level to be really good but I still think that um is the kind of the goal for a movie like this. And I feel like with any Makoto Shinkai film, it feels like that's kind of the goal. But um, this was a really nice movie. I really did enjoy it. I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction. Um, this, is, this is an interesting one. I did enjoy it. I felt like, on it, to be perfectly honest, I felt like there wasn't a ton for me to react to in this film. And it was shorter than I was expecting. I was expecting, like, you know, I don't know, hour and a half movie whatever, two-hour movie, who knows, um, and I was really surprised to boot this up and see it was only an hour, and that had me very intrigued um, as to what the, like, 62-minute runtime or whatever, I mean, if you if you exclude credits, it was basically an hour flat, um, what the 60-minute runtime would be about, and um, I think for a one-hour film, they were able to put a lot of uh, meat and potatoes into this and really tell a captivating story but again i wouldn't go far beyond that i thought it was i thought it was engaging i was interested you know it was it never lost me well i mean a little bit because i'm an idiot but i mean as far as like my my intention it never lost me and um yeah i really appreciated the movie i thought it did a good job at hitting its points um was it good? Yes. Was it great? Eh, I probably wouldn't say it was great. Um, but it, by no means was it bad. I would even, it definitely was above, a, above average for sure. It was, it was a good movie. Uh, but not one that I think really resonated with me the way some others that we've reacted to on this channel certainly have. And well, many on this channel for sure. Um, whether from an, just a pure enjoyment factor or from that more emotional resonance that a film like five centimeters per second clearly was going for. Um, but I would still say this was certainly a successful movie. I, I mean, I know obviously it's pretty, it's a pretty famous anime film, but also it clearly, it clearly did a good job and I could see a lot of people and, and certain audiences eating this film up for sure. I could definitely see this being one of those films that a lot of people really loved. But, um, yeah, this was a really good movie, for sure. I really enjoyed it. Hope you guys enjoyed my reaction to it as well. If you guys want to support the channel, you can check out the Patreon down below in the description. Discord server will be down there as well. And, uh, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, those of you who have not yet decided, without any further ado, it's time for me to bid you adieu. Flaming Shark signing out. Hope you guys have a wonderful, fantastical day. And I'll see you next time with another video. Thanks for watching. Peace.